Why is it that no one cries out? Nobody spits in their faces. Nobody jumps at their throats. We doff our caps to the SS men returning from the little wood. If our name is called, we obediently go with them to die. And we do nothing. We starve. We're drenched by rain. We're torn from our families. What is this mystery, this strange power of one man over another? This insane passivity that cannot be overcome? Our only strength is our great number. The gas chambers cannot accommodate all of us. So goes a section of This Way for the Gas, ladies and gentlemen, written by Tadush Borowski. I'm not going to lie, it was the title of this book that initially caught my eye. The book is a collection of short stories inspired by Borowski's time in the Auschwitz and Dachau concentration camps, and this also doubles as the title of one of the stories. I generally struggle with short stories, as the format and quality vary wildly, and this way for the gas is the same. While the stories are all told in a linear timeline, some of them start suddenly, while others just end seemingly out of the blue. This is always something I get a bit frustrated with, with short stories. I guess it's good to be left wanting more, but several times in one book starts to grate a little. But that aside, the content of the stories are the star here. There's nothing fun and frivolous here, despite the darkly buoyant book title. This is a narration of a number of different events told from the perspective of an internee. He's not one of the ones marched straight off to the gas chambers, but one who was forced to work. He relates the process of unloading the trains full of the next lot of victims and what it was like in the dormitories and work teams and how society began to re-establish post-liberation. The point of view of a worker is not one that I've read before, so it was interesting to read about the camp black market, the inter-work team rivalries, and the casual, almost indifferent references to how close they all were to the gas chamber should they fall out of favour. As I mentioned at the start, the short format didn't sit right with me, and the subject matter makes it hard to say you enjoy a book like this, so it hasn't gained a spot on my recommend list. But if you're interested in a based on personal experience fictionalized look into what life in a concentration camp was like, it's probably worth checking out for its historical value.